Hello everyone. So I was looking at this question on the community from uh, from this user about need a guideline to run the project management using Jira. Now the question is, I'll summarize the question. So what uh, this user is trying to understand whether we can do project management using uh, Jira, Jira software or not. And uh, uh, it is of course a very uh, not, not very specific question. The answer is uh, definitely yes, you can do project management in Jira, but uh, I think uh, uh, you also have to figure out what exactly you are trying to achieve uh, or what exactly you are looking for when you when you when you try to use a tool like Jira or any other tool. So when you are looking for a tool, you might need to have I think it is a good idea if you have uh, a list of things that you're looking for for example in this particular uh, post uh, there is a mention of uh, you know reporting burn down charts status tracking so yes these things can be definitely uh, done now what many people don't really know if I mean of, of course when you are new to when they are new to Jira Jira is essentially or was essentially an issue tracker now, in Jira, you have projects and within projects you have issues and those issues can have uh, their own workflows. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm of course trying to give you a very quick two minute uh, introduction to, to Jira. So Jira is an issue tracker, but the good thing about Jira is that you can always customize it. And, uh, and you also have uh, Jira software features like uh, you can have board, both following Agile and Kanban methodologies. You also have Jira service management for service desk. Now, if you want to use Jira software, then you have within your Jira software project, uh, the standard Agile uh, features like you can have your backlog, you can have uh, uh, your epics and stories and subtasks, and uh, you can have uh, estimation based on story points or hours. And when you start the work, you can create sprints, you can rank your issues. And, and I'm, of course, I'm talking about just one individual uh, project or team, but you can have multiple projects in Jira. And you also have some other capabilities like uh, it depends if you are using, uh, let us say, uh, advanced roadmaps. So you also have this uh, capability in Jira when uh, you want to do uh, this uh, planning across multiple projects or multiple teams. So you can maybe take a look at a Jira premium uh, version where you will get advanced roadmaps that will let you do these wonderful things. And of course, you also have automation. And uh, apart from the inbuilt native reporting capabilities in Jira, uh, you can always uh, export data from Jira to your own tool for your own reporting. Maybe you can use an app like ECBI if uh, you want to do it within Jira. But to answer your question, yes, you can do project management in Jira, but uh, Jira is nothing but an issue tracker. It is uh, just a tool and you need to figure out uh, what you want to do. If you have, let us say, a list of uh, 10 or 15 things that you are uh, trying to achieve uh, in a tool, any tool, then, then take a look at uh, what Jira can do, how many uh, boxes Jira will or can tick. So in the beginning, I always say that when you start using Jira, when you have to start using Jira, start by always uh, signing up for a free cloud instance, which I believe many people do now, because it is uh, very clear if you go to the Atlassian website and you try to sign up, or when you click on try now option somewhere, you will by default get the option to sign up for a cloud instance. Of course, you can also uh, just focus on the free version, but you can always go for the paid version or enterprise version, you can always evaluate those versions and you can also evaluate those apps in case you want to look at those apps. So in the beginning, just try to sign up for a, maybe a free version of Jira, create a project. And when you create a project, you will have uh, templates, some project templates that will get you started. So you will get uh, a really good idea about uh, the capabilities of a tool like Jira. And when you start using those uh, projects, uh, you can of course, you know, play with it. One thing that I can recommend you is when you start a new project in Jira, uh, and especially if you are doing, uh, especially if you are trying to use Jira software, what you can also do is you can always uh, fill up your 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 project or board with sample data. 
So let us see how it, how we can do that. So if we go to create project, you will have the option to of course select a, you know, a template like Scrum or something, whatever, and you can say select this template, use template, and uh, you can of course select a team manage, which I don't really want to recommend. But I mean, of course, you no, know, it is it is fine if you want to do something within your team and you and you, and you want your own customization and you don't really want to bother your uh, admin, Jira admin. But I think in most cases, company managed projects are more suitable or relevant. And uh, what you can do is you can uh, always uh, create a project like this if you want to, uh, of course, you know, see how it works. But I do have like a better recommendation. What you can do is you can go back to your uh, Jira instance. And when you go to boards, you will have an option to create a board along with a new project with some sample data. So when you click on create board, just click on this option called create scrum board with sample data and, and it will give you a project with uh, filled in data that you can actually uh, straight away start using for uh, maybe your own, uh, I mean not using, but maybe you want to just see how it looks like, how how you can manage your uh, your projects, how you can um, work on those reports. So that particular sample, uh, sample uh, project and sample board is I think a wonderful in the beginning so that uh, you know you, you can maybe take a look at or maybe you can show it to your, uh, your your stakeholders like you know look at my uh, look look at my, uh, my 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 board or my my project and this is how it will look like this is how your sprints will look like so maybe maybe I'll just uh, do it very quickly so that uh, you know it's, it won't really take a long time. So if you click, uh, if you click on the sample, create a sample project with sample board with sample data, it will uh, take few seconds and it will uh, create this uh, board with filled in data that will really give you a very good idea about how your Jira project will look like. So if you look here, you have, of course, uh, you know, your sprints and I'll probably get rid of the sidebar. So you have the versions, you have the, of course, the epics that you can create. Right now, there are no epics, but you can create, an, create your own epics. And uh, you have your, of course, uh, running sprint or backlog. You can take a look at your uh, uh, active sprint. So there is a separate place where you can say, see how your board will look like. You can drag and, draw it, uh, drag and uh, move the items from one column to another column. And you can also take a look at the report. So do take a look at this uh, sample <laughs> sample uh, pr project with sample data so that you will be able to figure out and uh, make decisions based on this so i made this video i made this video especially for those uh, people who are new to jira and uh, i i think uh, this can definitely uh, be a good start yes jira can do project management but uh, i think project management is or it can be a vague term. I mean, uh, you, you need to figure out, or uh, maybe you, you need to maybe get into the details and then see whether uh, Jira is the right tool for you and your team or not. And that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye bye.